Hi, and good morning, darlings. How are y'all feeling? I hope everybody is well and up and ready and getting ready to get their day going and getting ready to get your ass in the bed for working or being in school all night, whatever the case. Anyway, let's get right into it. So today they were saying that, I don't know, what's the guy's name? I don't forget his last name. It's Jonathan something. He's from the Queer Eye for the Straight Guy or something. I think that's a show about styling or something. I don't know. I never watched it. But anyway, but he was just diagnosed with HIV. So, um, you know, I want to send uh, well wishes to him in his journey with dealing with that um, crisis. And also I want to talk about anal sex. Y'all think about that though, right? You penis go inside the anal, which is, um, you know, where you defecate from and then when you penetrate it and sometimes I guess depending on whomever you're dealing with or whatever y'all doing like some people like ejaculate in the in the asshole but then you know that's feces then you think about that's like somebody else's bodily fluids you know that your body has been your body has produced and it's going inside a place where you defecate from. Yeah. You, know, you would think something bad would happen behind that. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? If you just think about it, like because it's not meant for for sex. But you know, us as humans, like, look, I see a whole motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck it. Some of you not all of them, I was just saying. You know what I'm saying? But um, I then it's also something for you to think about, like with anal sex too. Uh, do you really? And also, like women who participate in it, like what happens is once you your muscles are torn because you know you get a hard that's a muscle going in your asshole, and it's tearing your muscles depending on how big his penis is, and them motherfuckers gonna try to put that shit in there because it's tight. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, they got the asshole is 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 like it's tight and they putting this motherfucking whole shit up in your ass and they gonna try to like force it in and then it just breaks down your muscles, which also hurts you internally and which you know, this is where you defecate from, which we already know, and you can have um involuntary bowel movement like it just messes up that track so I don't know just be wise and you know I don't th in my personal opinion I don't think that that's the place that people need to be doing but you know but you know the, the gay community they do what they do whatever 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 you know it's up to you not judging I'm just saying and also what the fuck oh shit that goddamn Fantasia girl she over there talking about telling people that they need to um you know, be submissive to their men and stuff like that. Uh, from a girl who just met a dude in three weeks, then they got married. And then from a girl who um, met a dude at, like, she's like an international or a national star. I don't know how international she is. But whatever, it don't matter. She still is a, a, a singing sensation. Uh, met a guy at motherfucker what was that AT and T. Not to say I'm just saying you can be anybody whatever you want to. I'm just saying, bitch. Ain't nobody taking no goddamn advice from you, girl. And I'm just saying, like you look at your track record, girl. No, but then again, like okay, women, I do believe that. Okay, I see it all the time. Like you know, I live in New York City. People bring their relationships outside, you know, regardless of whatever the age is. Like, you have to, are you in a relationship with somebody, a women and men, you have to learn how to keep whatever y'all going on inside. That's why you need to be, a, you have to be mature. Uh, especially if you're so-called, if y'all living together. I don't feel like any young people, should, you should be living with nobody until you like in your 30s. At least you have like a, some sort of an understanding of who you are because you have to know who you are as a person first before you invite somebody into your own personal space you understand what i'm saying and sharing that with someone else uh, but being submissive yes i you know everybody is different now this here is my thoughts on it now if we both are going out into the workforce and we bring in uh 
salary home to take care of and we also have other you know things that the children and all that and we both do it equal then yeah that shit needs to be equal like everything should be equal like don't you know what i'm saying it's like she should be working all goddamn day then she gotta come home and be like oh honey what do you want for dinner but her motherfucking feet hurt bitch bye Whoever get that first, you got to take care of that. Y'all got to have that type of communication. Everybody's relationship is different. That's why communication is so important, people. And then also, you have to know if sexually, if you are compatible. Everybody, just because you are sexually attracted to somebody, y'all get together, y'all may not be sexually compatible. Some of the things that you like, maybe that person isn't with. Maybe the thing that you like, that person isn't with. You understand what I'm saying? And then, like, you find yourself in a, re a miserable ass relationship, sexually relationship, and then y'all talk with the word y'all like to use, cheat. You go outside and have sex with someone else because you're not getting pleasure at home. But Fantasia girl, ain't nobody listening to you with your motherfucker. No, girl, no. Girl, no. But um, for you, everybody needs to figure out, you know, what works for your relationship. Being respectful is number one. And ladies, I also believe that you need to be a lady at all times. You know, especially outside. When you when y'all outside, you don't be cursing your man. And, and same thing go for you too, man. I heard men call women's bitches and shit, swinging on them. What type of shit? See, that's why, honey, you gotta do some investigation before you start laying up and want to live with and all this so shit to see what the fuck is going on. Psychoanalyze these motherfuckers. What's going on behind these motherfucking eye sockets? eye sockets you know what I'm saying? what the fuck is you thinking about what, what type of motherfucker are you you have to pay attention to how a person treat other people like, oh some real shit man listen anyway y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think about um like anal sex that we just said you know and what's his name contracting hiv and uh that's why i always tell y'all guys you have to motherfucking you be safe you have to Wear protection all the time, even sucking dick, licking pussy. You know what I'm saying? Fucking it, whatever you, you know what I'm saying? Always, always. It's important, especially if you dibble and dabbling outside. And if you have and you come home, you need to let your girl know. Like, y'all gotta have these type of conversations. Sex does not equate love, it does not. People. So get out your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Once you once you realize that, I think that people will have like a better understanding and be able to control their emotions. It has nothing to do with you or you not being attractive. Like, get out your feelings. Uh, and also, let me know what y'all think about Fantasia. Do you submit? Or do you? Well, how do you feel about that? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> y'all know I'm here every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 a.m. And talking that real sex talk shit with your girl. Real. Um, I like to say thank you. You know I'm pre-recorded, so... Uh, please leave a comment. Definitely subscribe so I can go back live. You have to have a thousand subscribers. I don't have a thousand. I got like a hundred and something. I appreciate the hundred and something that I do have. So if you're new, please uh, subscribe. I would appreciate that. And um, yeah, you know, I'll be here tomorrow. I like to say, y'all have a great day. Um, get to know yourself. Get to know yourself sexually. Have conversations with your partner about what you like. Have conversations with your children uh, um, about sex and desire and attraction and all that great stuff, so they can have a better understanding as they becoming as they become adults and how to handle situations. They won't be so like, bah, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I like to say thank you. Please subscribe, leave a message. It's your girl. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Later. Have a fantastic day.